Hey guys, it's Chelsea, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> let's talk. Um, I got a comment today on my scent warmer of the month for August. And I've actually been getting some messages on my Instagram as well as messages on here asking if I could do a review for this beautiful warmer, which is, I'm going to move it a little bit closer. Um, this is the Portland warmer. It is the warmer for August. Um, so I've been getting questions on whether or not, like how it performs and how well it does because of the simple fact that if you guys had watched that video, this warmer surprised m myself along with other consultants it also surprised i guess a lot of customers over the fact that this gorgeous warmer takes a 15 watt bulb um if you guys know anything about sensi that means that, like literally our mini warmers our nightlight warmers our wall plug-in warmers but however you want to refer to them they take the smallest bulb that sensi carries which is a 15 watt they are our smallest warmers. So when I had got my put my order in for this, I didn't notice it. <laughs> I got it yesterday. I opened it up. I got the light bulb out and I was like, this is a 15 watt bulb. It's very small. Um, and it's a bigger warmer. Normally warmers this size will we will do a 20 or a 25 watt bulb. So so many people are like questioning on how 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 it's the performance is doing as far as like melting the wax because there is a decent uh, there is a decent amount of space between the light bulb and the actual dish where the wax is held. So I actually already had plans to film this video today um, because I tested this theory out. I wanted to tell the difference between two different rooms. I have a very like, I can't really say really small master bedroom. However, our master bedroom is not the biggest. Um, this is just a little corner of my master bedroom. This is my Sensi office area. A tour will be coming soon. Um, and I first tested this warmer yesterday for my first time lighting it up and putting and melting wax in it in my open concept downstairs. It's very open. Um, my kitchen my entryway, my living room, and my dining room are all kind of one big room. Um, so I tested this first downstairs and I got lost. <laughs> and what I mean by I got lost is I normally have two warmers going in my living room, one in my dining room, and one in my kitchen. And I shut every warmer off, waited a couple hours, put this one down there, only turned this one on, and to be honest with you guys, I am not going to lie, it wasn't the greatest for me. It, it, it wasn't, I, I couldn't really smell it unless I was on top of the warmer. Um, do I think it has something to do with the bulb? Maybe. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the space between the bulb and the dish. Um, I'm not saying it didn't give me any scent performance. Um, it did, but like I said, for a big open concept room for me, I, I had to be on top of the warmer really to really smell the scent. With that being said, um, this morning I shut it off. I put it, brought it upstairs. Well, I shut it off last night before I went to bed. Brought it upstairs this morning, put it in my master bedroom, and normally I have two warmers going on in my room. I purposely did not turn on my other warmer, just put on this warmer, and it's amazing. It's, it's, the scent throws fantastic. Um, I can smell it before I even get into the room. So, do I feel, I feel like it's a mixture between the fact that yes, it is a, a 15 watt bulb, and the fact that there is a decent amount of space between the dish and the light bulb. Um, do I still feel like the warmer is worth purchasing? Absolutely. Um, it's a gorgeous warmer, especially if you're going to put it in like a smaller room. 
everyone has different experiences with different warmers and different scents. Um, this is just my personal review on it. Um, it's definitely well worth the purchase. I mean, you guys can just see it by itself. It's absolutely stunning. It's breathtaking. Um, it's, it's a gorgeous warmer. Um, that, that 15 watt is really just throwing me off. I, I don't know why Sensi did that. Um, especially knowing the fact that there is so much space between the dish and the light bulb. Um, normally, like I kind of understand if it was a 20 or 25 watt and we still had that, that space. Um, but the fact that there's a space like that and it's only this tiny little light bulb, um, it, it is kind of throwing me off. Um, for smaller space rooms, it's fantastic. Um, it's not giving me any issues. I love it. Not so much for an open concept. Um, which is fine. My original plans, if you guys saw this video, I think I mentioned it in the video yesterday when I unboxed it, is that my plan is to put this in a beach themed bathroom. So eventually when we get our new home. So it's going to work great in the bathroom. Like I said, not an open concept type warmer. Um, maybe if you had like one or two warm, if you had like two warmers going on in the same room, maybe you wouldn't notice it as much, but for me, it's still worth, like I said, it, it, it is, it's still worth the price, especially if you love ha lighthouses. This is definitely stunning. It's, it's worth the money. Um, just for me, it's not working in a open concept area. Um, so I definitely, I, I hope it helps. To kind of show you guys, um, this, where is it? Okay, so the, the light bulb is right on this bottom base right here. There's a platform down here where this window is. And if you peer through this window at the bottom, you can see the light bulb. You're like directly straight onto the light bulb. The dish sits way up here. As you guys can kind of see the brim of it. The dish sits right here. This is the top of the dish. So we're looking at like from here to here of extra space. So from here to here of extra space that the light bulb has to go and melt the wax. So, I mean, do with it what you will, I guess. It, it, it's just, it's, it's something that's still kind of blowing my mind. It, it really is. Um, I love Scentsy, but I'm kind of questioning this. Um, so... But as far as everything else, it's still a beautiful warmer. It's gorgeous to look at. In a small room, it does fantastic. I just will never be putting this. Bless you. Bless you. I will just never be putting this in an open concept room. So, um, that is that is that. That is my review on the Portland warmer. Um, if you guys are still interested in pre-ordering it, let me know. I have no problem with putting a pre-order in for you guys. I'm not bashing it by any means. Like I said, I just don't really know what Sensi was thinking with putting a 15 watt. However, I didn't create it, so, um, but it is definitely worth the money, like I said. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. If you guys liked this and want reviews on every single set warmer of the month, like warmer of the month, let me know. I know I've been asking about this one just because, like I said, the wattage and all that fun stuff. But I am kind of interested in doing, like, a warmer review and a scent review for the month for every month. Um, I do have tons of videos coming out within the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for those. I will be reviewing, I will be showing off my Scentsy desk, um, my wax collection, as well as I, I do have a review of July's scent of the month, which is Summer Rain. Um, and some other... Fun stuff. We also still have the clearance section haul coming for July. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.